And then the question becomes, well, when do you actually treat it using pharmaceuticals? Welcome to Dog Cancer Answers, where we help you help your dog with cancer. Here's your host, James Jacobson. Hello, friend. Welcome to Dog Cancer Answers. Today, we look at a pretty rare cancer in dogs, chronic lymphocytic leukemia, or CLL for short. CLL can be an unusual cancer because it can be diagnosed in an otherwise healthy-seeming dog, and it can take a long time for the dog to start going downhill. The question that we tackle today is when to start the big gun treatments like chemotherapy drugs and what you can do before you need those. This episode is one of our Q&A shows where we take a question from one of our listeners and pose it to one of our dog cancer veterinary experts. So what you're going to hear in this episode may not apply to you and your dog. However, if you do have a dog with CLL, I want to make sure that you do check out the notes for this episode, which contain a lot more information on the topic. Now, we always try to make the show notes for every episode really helpful, but we did something a little different for today's topic. We reached out to another veterinarian, Dr. Nancy Reese, one of our full spectrum vets, who we'll actually hear from in a very timely episode that we are recording later this week about COVID-19 and your dog. We asked Dr. Nancy about CLL and cancers of the lymphocytes. You'll find all of that background information in today's show notes. For today's show, our guest is Dr. Damien Dressler, co-author of the Dog Cancer Survival Guide. Today, Dr. Dressler takes a question from Delisa in Alabama. Good afternoon. Hi. Thank you so much for taking my questions. Just everybody that's involved with this project, I'm just so grateful, came across the information from your answer guide, and I've been nonstop studying. I've ordered the PDF, and also I've ordered the book, and we got the diet going. My name is Delisa Christie, and I'm from Alabama, and I have a Pomeranian Sheltie mix. He's five years old. His name is Zach, Z-A-K-K, and he was just diagnosed seven days ago, as a matter of fact. By blood work, we went in to have his blood work for his just annual checkup. No illness appeared. The blood work showed elevated white blood cells around 50 with also his lymphocytes around 45. Was sent to a pathologist and the diagnosis is chronic lymphatic leukemia. So my question is, I've ordered the ApoCap and also the canine immunity. I am also in the Facebook group. I do not usually see anything on anything with the blood disease. I see mostly on tumors. I just want to make sure I'm on the right path with the ApoCap and make sure that that is also for leukemia. Thank you so much and God bless you. So what would you suggest to Delisa? Good question, Delisa. So chronic lymphocytic leukemia is one of these that is often diagnosed in the exact same way that you just described, a perfectly healthy animal. It's a very, very slow, insidious disease, and it takes a really long time for your dogs to get sick from it in general. And then the question becomes, well, when do you actually treat it using pharmaceuticals? And that's usually lymphocyte counts right around 60,000. So you've still got some time. You don't really have to use chemotherapy drugs right now at this time, but I definitely would start to focus on everything that you can do to change what's going on. So that'd be dietary changes, and we talk about this in the book, which you'll read, carbohydrate restriction, the addition of anti-cancer supplements and vegetables. To answer your question directly about ApoCaps, I definitely do use ApoCaps in my practice when I am helping to support normal apoptosis levels in dogs that do have chronic lymphocytic leukemia, among other things too. But what I would also try to remember is that you got to go back in and get those white blood cell counts monitored because it is progressive, but it's really, really slow and you may not need to do necessarily a lot of these big gun pharmaceuticals to help with the disease unless the white count gets above a certain point and that can take a long time. There's also another test that you might consider called the PAR, P-A-R-R test and it's a blood test and that allows you to differentiate the leukemia cells into three different subtypes. Do you have T cell, do you have B cell or do you have combined B T cell and that's for chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And the reason why is because the T-cell ones are the least aggressive of the three, and then the other ones are more aggressive. And if you know that you've got a lesser or more aggressive cancer, that can help inform and guide your future treatment decisions because it gives you a sense of urgency. So anyway, I hope that helps for the time being. Thank you so much, Delisa, for your call. Listeners, if you'd like to learn more about chronic lymphocytic leukemia, please go to dogcanceranswers.com slash CLL for the show notes and links that can help you. 
Those touch tones remind me that it's your turn to ask a question. Do you have a question just like Delisa did? Well, one of our veterinarians can answer it on a future episode of Dog Cancer Answers. Please call our listener line at 808-868-3200. That is 808-868-3200. Or visit our website at dogcanceranswers.com. On that very website, you can also listen to or download our back catalog. That's the best way to help give you the information that you need to help optimize your dog's life quality and longevity. We'd like to thank our sponsor today, the Dog Cancer Survival Guide book, written by Dr. Damian Dressler and Sue Ettinger. This book is available wherever fine books are sold, both online and in physical bookstores. And if you'd like to help support this podcast, get it right away, direct from the publisher. You can do that in either paperback form or in ebook form. The ebook is just $9.95. To get either one of those, go to this website, dogcancerbook.com. And because you are a listener to this show, if you use the promo code podcast, you can save 10%. The website again, dogcancerbook.com. Use the promo code podcast for 10% off. That's dogcancerbook.com. I'd like to thank Dr. Damien Dressler for being our guest. If you'd like to reach him directly, his website is vetinkihei.com, and you spell kihei, K-I-H-E-I, vetinkihei.com. Until next time, I'm James Jacobson. From all of us here at Dog Cancer Answers, I wish you and your dog a warm aloha. Thank you for listening to Dog Cancer Answers. If you'd like to connect, please visit our website at dogcanceranswers.com or call our listener line at 808-868-3200. And here's a friendly reminder that you probably already know. This podcast is provided for informational and educational purposes only. It's not meant to take the place of the advice you receive from your dog's veterinarian. Only veterinarians who examine your dog can give you veterinary advice or diagnose your dog's medical condition. Your reliance on the information you hear on this podcast is solely at your own risk. If your dog has a specific health problem, contact your veterinarian. Also, please keep in mind that veterinary information can change rapidly. Therefore, some information may be out of date. Dog Cancer Answers is a presentation of Maui Media in association with Dog Podcast Network. 